The critically endangered mountain pygmy possum is found in fragmented boulder fields in the alpine zone in New South Wales and Victoria. At Zoos Victoria, we've worked with the mountain pygmy possum recovery team since 2006 to run a captive breeding and research program. We can now successfully breed wild caught and captive born male and female possums with over 120 possums produced and raised at Hillsville Sanctuary. We had our first successful release to the wild in 2013 with high survival and 100% breeding success of females. And we conduct research into aspects like hibernation, breeding, diet and others, as well as raising community awareness and support for the possums. In 2019, a new threat was discovered. The possum's main food source, a bogong moth, that usually arrives in the alpine zone in their billions, collapsed to nearly undetectable levels in 2017 and 18. And more on this will be discussed by Zoos Victoria's Darcy Carruthers during this symposium. Across all Victorian monitored populations, more than 50% of females lost their young, with it being 95% in the worst affected population. In response, DELP and the Mountain Pygmy Possum Recovery Team, shown here, developed an operational contingency plan to assist the possums. And today I'm going to talk about Zoos Victoria's program to develop and trial a new supplementary food. We developed the new supplementary food, Bogong Bikis, with world experts in veterinary nutrition based on macro and micronutrient analysis of Bogong moths and had it commercially developed by our partners at Wambaroo. We trialled the food with the possums in our care at Healesville Sanctuary and found they liked the food and there were no issues. We looked at 12 different feeder types and trialled the top four types for safety and efficacy at Healesville Sanctuary. And we then worked with our partners at Parks Victoria to place 20 different feeders and cameras on each of the feeders in the boulder fields at Pretty Valley West to trial the three best feeder types. We also had cameras across three boulder fields to ensure there were no increases in birds or predators due to the food and found there were no issues. We found the gravity feeder that we used was the best one for the possums and that possums, bush rats and antichinus all readily ate the food with no issues seen. And we were particularly proud to help our partners in New South Wales DPIE, Saving Our Species, to provide the feeders and food to assist possums after the devastating bushfires of 2019 and 20. And if you'd like any more information, please feel free to contact us at Zoos Victoria. Thank you.